Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Mack from Tampa, episode two of season two of Hannibal. Let's get to it. Damn, that's fucking horrific. I don't know how I, I'm making him kill me. You have to kill me right here and now. Ah. Ah. Jump. Ah. Jump! Make him shoot. One way or the other. Let us help you. Let me help you. I, I, I need your help. I don't believe him. I think it was bullshit. I hope. What happened? He was buying in last episode. <laughs> I feel like he fucking got over that before. Remember the air? What couldn't wait until our next session? We don't have a next session. I am no longer your therapist. I am simply ending our patient psychiatrist relationship. Why would you come here to tell me? Right, Fuck that. Is that you are? He asked for my help. Then maybe you deserve each other. <laughs> Buffeting in the current causes so many post-mortem injuries, it's impossible to tell them from the ones they got uh, when they were alive. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, join me over here. What if it isn't what they have in common? What if it's what makes them different? Each of these people has a slightly different flesh tone. Could be like a color palette. The color of our skin is so often politicized. Which is why there'll be a lot more bodies on his color palette. Fascinating insight this time. <laughs> As if Will Graham himself were in the room. I was like, Hannibal and Jack picked that shit up. <laughs> yes, it is. Ah, absolutely. How's Will Graham? Shut your mouth. Do you know what your job is? Yes, I do. Then do it. In trouble for bending rules? What do you do? Bend more of them. Oh, Jack. Select patients have taken to urinating on the therapists. I would argue drawing a line might encourage a pissing contest. I'm not interested in a pissing contest with you, Dr. Lecter. Please pull up your chair. I feel like Hannibal's gonna see through Will's horse shit. Whatever you remember, if you do remember, will be a distortion of reality, not the truth of events. I'm realizing that. That felt easy. Roll a number have priors with substance abuse. She was in an outpatient treatment program. Her didn't have the same effects on him. Survived what was done to him. He tore himself free. Jesus, yes he did. What did Hannibal Lecter have to say about Mr. Umber? He thinks the killer tore him down, dumped his body like the others. That may be what he said. It's not necessary. 
necessarily what he thinks. Pop will get him now. He gets it. What good is it doing fucking prison? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Love your work. <laughs> What's your response to that? Try to kill an animal? Obviously, my response. He escaped. He just went upstream from where the body was found until we hit corn. He gave my man time to run. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's an offering, but it's certainly a gesture. To whom? The eye looks beyond this world into the next. Kill the guy. John Doe 21 is Roland Umber's replacement in the mural. What happened to his leg? Maybe the killer had to cut off his leg just so he'd fit. <laughs> How did he find his faith? I bet it tastes delicious. Obviously, I cannot control whether or not the FBI contacts me. I can only tell you what I told Hannibal. I prefer that you don't. She's giving him information! Put summers together, Jack! I didn't put you here. You... are not my design. <laughs> Killing must feel good to God, too. He does it all the time. And are we not created in his image? Whoever sewed him in took a piece of him as a trophy. He must have had a friend. <sighs> what did he see? Nothing. Not anymore. There is no God. Certainly not with that attitude. If God is looking down at you, don't you want to be looking back at him? There's more? Oh my God. Oh well. I just feel so bad. That was kind of beautiful. Like I was so crazy, kind of they deserve each other. Cause I'd be killed them, but still. I don't know you. My name is Patelia de Maurier. Step away from the bars, ma'am. Say something. I believe you. Come on, man. Let's go. I don't know that we need to be that uh, overstated. Shit. I figured you have to kill her. She left. Doc. Good job. You might pass Jack. I don't go that far. All right, that was episode two of season two of Hannibal, where to begin. Shit keeps getting more and more real. <sighs> I must say, I'm really happy with Will. I'm really, really happy he has not bought in to being crazy. He's playing like he has. He has not bought in. He knows Hannibal did something. He knows Hannibal is responsible. He knows Hannibal is the... God damn devil. But he's gonna figure this thing out on his own. He's not taking a deal. I, I just, I, Will has grown on me exponentially. Um, shit, someone else wants to say about that. Right. 
Um, but he's not alone in his belief that Hannibal <laughs> is responsible for all of this. The doctor, I forget her fucking name. Hannibal's fucking um, psychiatrist. Oh, skyrockets up the list. I assume she's done. But she's sky unless she's killed by Hannibal, tracking her down. Skyrockets up the list of enjoyable characters for me. Um, not only because she believes Will, but because she got away from Hannibal. And number three, had the common fucking sense. If you believe this man is this fucking dangerous, there is no reason, and you can watch your life, there is no reason to stick around. As a matter of fact, we have every reason to get the fuck out of town. And that's exactly what she did. Finally, some common fucking sense. It's time to go. Uh, I probably would not have warned Hannibal. I would have just bounced. But, um... It worked out all the same. He's dangerous. This is your guy with the kill this fucking psychiatrist? Now, that would be a risk. Number one, he has no reason to keep her around. Number two, uh, he knows she's dangerous. And number three, she knows he's dangerous, and therefore he now knows she's dangerous, and she knows all these things. Um... And fucking, he had a lot to fear. And he was right in his assessment. Fucking, um, she told Will, I believe you. <sighs> that aside, that'd have been hard to explain. Your psychiatrist dies. I guess he wouldn't have, I guess he would have rid of the body altogether. Yeah, that probably would have been the move. Too late though. She gone. So happy. Fuck me. I had her name. Asian FBI agent. Something with a B. Fuck. Fuck, I had it. Damn it. She said it, I remembered it, and then I fucking forgot it. She grows, she's growing me a lot. Will's put her on the case. Um. In fact, that's what he bargained for. He bargained for her to give him a fair shake. Forget the evidence. Fucking rethink these things. I know y'all don't like Jack. A lot of you don't like Jack. I still like Jack. Mainly because it's Lawrence Fishburne. Number two, he's very uh, Machiavellian. Um, about murdering people. And, <laughs> and... Now, he's coming to certain realizations, or at least saying them out loud, probably came to them already, that he is, in fact, responsible for a lot of this. He's responsible for Will State. Now, Will State is that he's being uh, blackmailed for, uh, blackmailed, he's being framed as a serial killer. He thinks he's uh, responsible for Will being a serial killer. All the same, some of this, let's say number two on the list, uh, behind Hannibal, obviously, it's Jack's fault. So people, people with self-realization, I like. I like a lot. Um, now we know him and Jack come to blows. By blows, I mean they almost murder each other. Um, what happens? Obviously, he knows who Hannibal is. Does Hannibal kill somebody close to him? Does he kill fucking uh lady whose name I just forgot? FBI agent? Asian FBI agent? Does he um, find out about um, the other Asian he killed? Does he we find out Will's, in, Will's innocent has been framed? What the fuck is going to happen? I'm so curious. Now, I'm only five minutes into this. I will say, all that aside, Hannibal is the MVP of this episode. Of every episode, really. Um, but him... Piecing together on his own while lying to the FBI. Uh, what was going on with the serial killer? It was stitching people together. Um, him finding him, him killing him, him putting him in the middle of the painting, him giving him a fucking pep talk about God and finishing his work and all this other shit. Him cooking what looked like delicious human leg. It's fascinating to watch. I love the show. It's easily one of. Of the shows I started on Patreon is easily one of my favorites. Person of Interest is my favorite. This might be number two. 
It's such a fast 40 minutes. So fast. Blink of an eye. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.